So when you go to bigger tires, sometimes it doesn't fit up where you normally carry the spare tire. I'm Shannon Bruner with Overland Trails Adventures, and today we found a solution at Moore Expo. I think it's gonna work pretty good. Let me show you what we found. Hi, welcome back to the Overland Trails Garage. I'm Shannon, and today in the garage we have the rigged Ultra Swing Mega Fit for full-size trucks that swings out and it fits in the hitch receiver so it is removable. Um, the reason why we looked at this was because um, this build is not going to stick around for a long time. Um, our next build is probably where we're going to use this um, on that as well as uh, we can use it on other vehicles. So it becomes a, a great option to move around the different rigs because we tend to switch things up a little bit. Uh, what we purchased from them at Moore was the Megafit tire carrier with the swing out and the side mounts that go on the side of it that you can, um, it's kind of like a molly panel where you can fit um, jerry cans and traction boards and things like that to make it a little multi-purpose. Uh, also, this is uh, once we get the spare tire on, that's where we're going to carry the uh, trash roof. So, um, let's get this thing out of the box and get started. All right, as usual, no unboxing here. Just know that it was packaged very well, wrapped in all kinds of fun stuff, and so uh, don't want to waste your time with that. But let's look at the basic uh, stuff that you get in your order with the Ultra Swing Mega Fit. Uh, before we get into some of the accessories uh, we picked up for our needs. So you get the basic swing out. Which this goes into the trailer hitch. Um, you have a trailer hitch here on the back uh, and, and a side hitch here for putting bikes. Um, and you get the wheel plate. And so the wheel plate mounts to here. And that's what you can hang up to a 40 inch tire on, which is important because um, a lot of times you don't have any place to put a bigger tire. That's the whole reason for getting something like this, which is a lot cheaper than buying a whole dual swing out or a swing out bumper. The tool that you will need is a torque wrench that can go up to 100 pounds at least, an extension at least 12 inches, only one I could find was 20 inches, and a 19 inch or a 3 4 socket, a wrench, 3 4 or 19 inch, and a four millimeter Allen wrench. This particular piece comes with all the bolts that you'll need to bolt everything together and the lug nuts and nuts to put the wheel on. And just this unit right here costs a little over $1,600. Let's look at the rest. Okay, so some of the accessories we bought was the side hack, which runs about $200 and about $300. What this does is it mounts to the side of that to give you a molly panel plate and some extra room to mount things like uh, roto packs, jerry can holders, things like that. And the jerry can holder, which gives us the ability to carry extra fuel so it's outside the vehicle, a lot safer. This runs about $150. Let's put it all together. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're going to take the hitch, which is right here, um, the tire mount, we're gonna put it on the vehicle and we're gonna follow the steps that Rig uh, Rig maps out in their install video because they're the experts. But please don't do this by yourself. This thing is very heavy and you can hurt yourself, but some of the key elements are, so you take your torque wrench and insert it from the other side and loosen this up to where it's flatter or lower than this. This gives you plenty of play here for the block that is going to be tightened up and sync up the entire uh, unit so it doesn't wobble. From there, you'll take your pin, insert it in here, insert the pin slightly, and then tighten this up to hold it all firm. So let me get some help. Okay, now you take your extension and your 19 millimeter socket and tighten the bolt up. Okay, now that we've got the bolt torqued down to 100 foot pounds, um, we've got the pin inserted. This thing's not going anywhere. So let's prep the accessory plate and get it mounted on here. Okay, 
to prep this plate to go on, we have to take off these nylon bolts, uh, or bolts with the nylon washer as they're just for transport. Take this front plate off, mount this back plate, then put the front plate on. So let's prep. Okay, to do this part of the project, I'll be using a 9 16 wrench, half inch wrench, and I got a half inch socket just to make it a little bit easier, and an Allen wrench to remove these. Uh, I think it's 3 16 You want to not lose this spacer. Okay, now we're going to take this plate and we're going to mount it right here. But before we can do any kind of mounting, we need to swing it out and we have to remove this bolt because it was there for shipping for security reasons. Okay, to get, these, uh, get this plate bolted on, we're going to use the bolts out of your kit with this washer or this lock nut, this washer, and this bolt here. We do just fine. There are several holes up and down this uh, plate here, so you can mount it just about anywhere you want it. Um, I'm debating about whether to mount it low or high. I don't know, I'm thinking low would be better. The key thing is we don't want it to get in the way of the tire because I'm pretty much probably gonna put at least a 35 on there for now, obviously to match the truck, and probably a 37 later on. Okay, now that we got the support plate mounted, we'll put the accessories plate on this side and that'll give it the rigidity it needs. You have to bolt it here, 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 and around these corners. Now when we put the jerry can on, I believe we've gotta do it here, here, and here. And I normally like to get bolts like this in place first so they can support the whole rest of the installation. And I'm not tightening them down completely, just enough to hold it in place so I can make sure I have room to manage the other bolts. Well, it looks like my microphone died. So, uh, the panel is on and it's bolted up in all four places there to hold it to the rack itself. There's a plate that goes right here on the front that is supposed to be a molly panel that you can tie, tie things to. Here's the molly panel. But because of the jerry can that I have to clip in the top and it sets it on the bottom in a little groove, I can't use it. So, with the tire here and the jerry can holder right here, it should all fit. Um, I may have to adjust it whenever we get the tire mounted. So the jerry can holder clips into the top of the plate by two hooks and then fits in, locks in by four bolts on the inside that go into pre-tapped holes. And so it is very sturdy and with all the bolts in, this should hold just fine for the five gallons of gasoline. So once you determine the right location for your tire to be mounted on the ultra swing, you want to make sure that the tire mount slopes back towards the vehicle. That helps balance the weight that is on the holder that is on the um, swing out. And you want to make sure that it's positioned where you have enough uh, clearance for any accessories that you've added to the, uh, the plate, uh, in my case the jerry can. So I'll have to play with it up and down to make sure that I can get plenty of room and clearance. Okay, now that we've got it all mounted up, it seems really sturdy. I'll be able to put a five gallon gas can in here to extend my trips. Once I get the rim in, I'll be able to get a tire I have mounted on it, be able to put it on, then I'll be able to field test it with the weight. And uh, stay tuned for field testing. Like the video if you like it, and we'll see you down the trails.